Greetings. I thought it'd be fun to give a video tour of my drum set. This is the one I'm currently using. I also have my other kit, which would be more for gigging. Uh, Force 3005 in black sparkle. They look really beautiful. You can catch that sparkle in there. <clears throat> anyway, on to the Sonor Delights. This kit I bought as a five piece with uh, 10, 12, and 14 inch toms and 22 by 17 and a half base in metallic marine finish, which is now discontinued as of 2006. I managed to score an eight inch tom to add to it, to it. so uh, that, that along with the uh, matching 14 by six snare makes it a fairly rare kit. And I got it for a ridiculously low price. Anyway, moving around. Some of the additions to the kit are some Latin mini timbales that I found on eBay for 75 bucks, six and eight inch. And they give me a nice Latin crack to my, some of my playing. And on to the cymbals. I think I got this for about 25 bucks. Zildjian Platinum Splash. Had a crack which I repaired, but didn't affect the sound very noticeably. Still has a nice sound. And Zildjian New Beats Hi Hats. I got those for about $107 on eBay. About an average price. I wasn't a major steal or anything, but not a bad price for some very common cymbals that uh, allow you to play just about any kind of music. And the only new cymbal I have in my kit is this Zildjian 17-inch El Sonido which is a very interesting symbol. It has a lot of different sound characteristics. There's the bell, which is very Latin-like. And also very loud. And then this laved area here with, uh, with the hammering is uh, very nice to ride. You get very good stick, stick definition on that area. And the further you go away from the hammered area, the more of a crash it sounds like, and it builds up a crash. So that symbol is very, very interesting in that it has so, so many different personalities. It gives you a lot of options in how you want to play. Next thing are a couple of Saluda effect symbols, which I think really are, uh, add some nice sounds to what I'm playing. This uh, mini splash with uh, four rivets. There's a quick de decay and a nice sizzly sound. And this uh, inverted china is a, a really dark, trashy sound for such a small symbol, and it's a really nice, a nice one. And moving on, I picked this 20-inch uh, ride cymbal. This was probably late 60s or early 70s, judging by the stamp on it. Uh, very jazzy sound. I got this for 40 bucks. It's a ride that has a, a nice crash to it as well. Next thing I got was uh, this 20-inch uh, Zildjian Swish knocker, which uh, comes usually drilled with six holes for rivets, optional. I added three rivets to it, and uh, it has a very pleasantly dark, crashy sound. It doesn't do much other than crash, though. symbol I recently picked up on eBay. By the way, the Swiss knocker, Swish knocker I also got for about 40 bucks. And this one was $30. It was uh, advertised as a Fabian AA crash, 18 inch. Uh, it had uh, advertised as having a, a crack, which was only about 5 eighths inch. And I found another little tiny crack, but I, I fixed those with the Dremel and, and now it uh, 
has a, still a very nice sound to it, hasn't affected the sound any, and also found out that it's a hand-hammered cymbal instead of a, one of the you know, factory machine hammered ones. You can tell by the irregular hammering on it. Uh, so a very good deal for, uh, I think I got this for 30 bucks or 25 bucks or something. And this, this guy is quite loud. Very nice sounding cymbal. And the drums, of course. The eight, starting with the eight. Very resonant drums. Oops. I'm using my right hand, so it doesn't work so good. But. And that is the tour of my drum set. Hope you enjoyed it.